take the blindfold off. It's going to in unveil what you actually do in your swing currently and give you some visuals that help you work on it. And then, you know, within five or ten swings, I'm hopefully going to have kind of figured out myself what the movement is that I need. So this down here is probably as close as you can get to the perfect practice station. It works on so many different elements of your golf and you can customize it to help you. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, bring you through what it will help you with, and ultimately how you can use it to improve your golf. So here it is, and you can see that there's a few different elements to this. Uh, I've got an alignment stick on the ground, I've got an alignment stick angled here, I've got another alignment stick angled here, and I've got a white line on the ground, which I've just used strike spray. You can use chalk or something like that just to put that white line down there. And that is everything I need to work on alignment. I can work on takeaway. I can work on club delivery or downswing plane. I can work on club path. I can work on fixing my sway and I can work on strike. Now the chances are you're not going to need to work on all of those things in your goal sing, but it's a great station to just keep things in check. Just make sure that we are doing the right thing. So what have I got? Well, I've got this alignment stick, which is pointing down towards my target, which is the green in the distance. I've got this alignment stick here, which is set pretty much at the same angle as my golf club, yet just inside of that, which means that I can move the club away without hitting it. I've got another alignment stick in the ground here, which is over the top of the golf ball. And then I've got this white line that's on the ground here. So the first thing would be really, really simple, just alignment. The one on the ground is just really helping me when I walk in and set myself up to this golf ball, making sure that I'm aligned correctly to the target in the distance. I can clearly see that my toes are the same distance from the alignment stick. That tells my feet are in position and then I can just make sure that my upper body are lined up as well. Now what you'll also notice for this first shot, I've got the ball teed up. There's a reason why I've got the ball teed up because what it means is if I just wanted to hit some shots from here, then I absolutely can do. And it means that I can place the ball back in the same spot without having to, if I had another golf ball I could, without having to worry about moving anything that I've set up. I can just place the ball back on the tee and I can go ahead and hit another shot. So alignment is really important. This is gonna help you with that. Use it, train it, develop it, get comfortable with what neutral looks like relative to the target. So then we come on to this part here, which is the takeaway. The first part of the goal thing. Many of you will be guilty of whipping that club too much inside or sucking the club too much behind you. I get some really good visuals here that I want to be working that golf club this side of the alignment stick and you can see how I can do that there. So straight away, slightly inside, I'm going to collide with that. I'm going to get some feedback. Or maybe the golfer who does take it a little bit outside. Far more rare, but there are some of you. You might be wanting to feel like you work the club a little bit closer to the alignment stick. Effectively, all we're doing is creating a visual reference that we can use to improve. So the golfer who whips that club inside, what I would have you do is just do some little pause swings. Take your setup, work it to here, double check that's okay, up, and then you can go through. You're working on the early part of your goal thing, which is super, super important. That same alignment stick, we can use the downswing. So many of you will have you know, downswings where you swing a little bit over the top or a little bit too much from the inside. Well, again, we can use that alignment stick for that very, very same thing. We can work up and I can work my club back down just in front of the alignment stick. Too much on the inside, I'm gonna cloud with the head cover, too much on the outside, and I again see that visually from this alignment stick. Whilst we're talking about the shape of the downswing, that very much relates to the club path. So what I said at the start was you can customize this. I would use this head cover down on the golf ball or around the golf ball to help me customize it. So that golfer who is a little bit too much out to win, I can place the head cover on the outside of my golf ball and now this station is a little bit more customized to me. Yes, I can still work on that takeaway, but on the way down, I'm trying to feel like I work the club back very close to the alignment stick. That will allow me to miss the head cover and create that very neutral path. Clearly that out to win swing would cause me to hit the head cover. For those of you who hook the ball, very simply, you can move that a little bit more on the inside. And again, you can start to work the club 
back in front of the alignment stick and missing the head cover. So that will allow you to customize that practice station. When we look at this alignment stick here, that's helping me with my lateral movement or with any look, lack of it. As I take my address to this golf ball, the golf ball sits underneath the top of the alignment stick. I actually use a little alignment stick cover on here. You don't necessarily need that. But as I look down, I can sort of see the golf ball, but it is hidden underneath that alignment stick. And as I start to make some back swings, provided I can stay pretty centered and I make a nice full turn, the golf ball pretty well, it stays directly underneath that alignment stick. So I'm making back swings here where I can tell straight away whether I've swayed off the ball or I've stayed very central. If I wanted to go ahead and hit this shot, if I was to sway, then I can catch myself. I can stop that swing halfway back and I get that instant feedback that that was a poor move and I can try again. So it's really a case of almost just having a few back swings and trying to establish what movement you need to make in order to stay centered. I love these practice stations because it's giving the power back to the golfer. This part of the station here allows me to self-diagnose whether I sway, which is perfect, I get that feedback. And then, you know, within five or 10 swings, I'm hopefully gonna have kind of figured out myself what the movement is that I need to maintain that relationship. And so, again, it's the power going back to the goal for it's you being able to diagnose your own faults, and then you've been able to create your own ideas and your own feels on what you need to do to improve that. There will be far less of you, but there will be some of you who on the way down will start to shift the head back. Again, I can see that that relationship has changed. That gives you some great feedback. And even fewer of you who actually shift too far towards the target. And again, I can see that. So I'm able to make goal swings here. I can tell my relationship is good. I can work it down. My relationship is still good. And then I'm able to go through to the finish. So I've almost got everything I need here to really just tidy up my goal thing, alignment. The line on the ground, we haven't spoken about yet, we're gonna to come to that. Initially, you can use that for ball position. So I can check where my ball is relative to my stance. Is it too far forward? I've got myself a seven iron here, so I want it just fractionally forward of center. That gives me that feedback. So I've got alignment and ball position. I've got my takeaway checkpoints. I've got my downswing checkpoints. I've got my sway checkpoints. I've got my club path visuals. Really, really important to get you striking the ball better, more consistent, which is a word that crops up so much. More consistency, that's what we all want. This practice station will help you do it. Now, the white line that's on the ground will also give us some feedback on strike. What, I've done, what I can do once I've hit a few shots, I can just simply move the ball onto that white line. I might then have to just nudge this alignment stick and move it a little bit further inside so it's not going to be impeding me. And what I'm able to do now is hit some shots and see where my club landed relative to the ball. Touch right to my target, but the strike felt good. And I can look down and I can see that white line is still there. The divot that I took started pretty much on that white line and went target side. Perfect. I've hit a shot. It felt solid. I look back, there's the feedback. If I start to land the club too much behind the line, really simply, I just want to keep hitting shots until I can move it more forward. Again, the great thing about this station is it's not going to tell you what to do. It's just going to give you feedback. It's going to almost take the blindfold off. It's going to in unveil what you actually do in your swing currently and give you some visuals that help you work on it. I guarantee you that if you are hitting the ground before the golf ball and you can see that, you will make some adjustments. You won't just keep hitting the ground before the ball. You'll start to shift your weight more forwards. You'll start to reduce that sway. You'll start to shift back maybe a little bit sooner. You will basically do whatever you need to do in order to move that strike. Perfect, perfect. This station is brilliant. I love it. it works on so many different things. And if you want to improve your goal swing, your consistency, your strike, all of those things, then absolutely do this. Now, just to finish up, what I would say is, is potentially, for some people, there's a lot going on here. So once you set this up, if you feel like you haven't got a sway and you never feel like you are going to sway, you can just remove that one. Or if you feel like you don't need to work on your 
backswing takeaway, you can remove this one. So you can start to remove things if you feel like you're not actually using them or they're benefiting you, but it's a really good practice station. What I would really encourage you to do, if you could set something up like this, hit some shots, work on your swing, and then just bring yourself back out of your practice station and hit some shots where you're not using any of those references. So it's almost like a little circuit. Jump in, maybe make five swings, jump out, maybe make five swings trying to replicate those movements. Jump back in, jump back out and use it as almost like a little circuit to really dial in and develop your golf swing. So this, for me, perfect practice station. Works on so much, can help so many golfers. I would urge you to do this next time you practice. I really think you'll be happy with the results.